Hello, I am John Benderwaffles Algets, and today we're gonna make some magic. I first played Magic the Gathering when I was a young kid, and it's been a near constant in my life ever since. I love the game, even though I think that some of the cards are getting a bit ridiculously overpowered. It's been such a big part of my life as a gamer that it's only natural that I try to pair it with my other big love, game design. As game designers, we can learn a lot from how magic sets are designed and constructed. How does Wizards of the Coast, the creators of the game, blend lore, themes, and mechanics in such an effective manner? How can they take hundreds of little individual cards and put them together as a coherent whole? With the advent of pieces of software such as the Magic Set Editor, we are able to explore the game in a way that we couldn't before. And now I intend to teach you what I know to help you get started designing your own set. We will work together to design a 65 card set that is intended to be on the same level as those designed by wizards themselves. Note that I will be using Magic Set Editor to show you what to do, but all of the concepts I cover in this series will be applicable to other Magic Set creation tools. So let's take this time to get a basic overview of the program that we will be using. Okay, so for this tutorial we're going to be using two tools. In the very beginning we're going to be using the Magic Multiverse here, which is a website that is free to use. Um, basically it allows you to do all of your card skeleton creation, all your layout, everything like that. And in fact you can create your finished cards, as you'll see here. Um, a quick overview of it, here you can do stuff like uh, the skeleton. The skeleton here, this is sort of the layout of the entire set, defining how many rares, how many uncommons, all that sort of stuff. Um, it has a tool for generating that, which we will go over uh, the numbers breakdown in a future episode, probably the next one if I remember correctly. There is a police car going by. Also on this website, you can get your set in a list form like this, which tells you everything you need to know about the cards. Also, there's a visual spoiler. Now, if you want, you can use just the Magic Multiverse and you can have functioning cards like this. Um, and that's fine. You're good to go. You don't need to do anything else. But if you want something that's a little bit more... Uh, professional and finished looking, there's the Magic Set Editor here, which is a free download that you can get from a link in the description down below. I believe it works with Windows. Um, I think there's a Linux version, and I think there's a Mac workaround if you are in those sort of uh, operating system worlds. So this allows you to create cards that, as I said, look a lot more like proper cards. Um, so yeah, this set by the way is the 65 card set that I created as an example for this tutorial series. There are some mistakes in wording and just design. They're in there, a lot of them for like specific reasons to help teach you guys uh, certain skills throughout the tutorial series. So. Uh, if you see any, feel free to leave a comment about it down below, um, but just know that I probably know about it. Uh, this set, you can, when you're creating a new set, it brings up a window where you choose what type of game you're creating and sort of what style. I have a lot of different templates here, which I will go over how to install those in a future addendum. Um, and then when you create a set, you get this lovely window, you get your first blank card. Your style window here allows you to change anything about the way it looks. You can change its template. You can choose whether the card you're working on is Walker, Texas Land, whatever it is that you want to do. And you can change all sorts of stuff down here, like type of hybrid mana, uh, you know, what sort of tap symbol you want to use, if you want to center the text, all that jazz, pretty basic stuff over here. Your set info, this is where you'll put in like the name of your set, a description, the artist section here will automatically cause uh, the artist's name to be put in. For the most part, you would never really, oh, that screwed that up. Um, you would never really put one in that field unless you're doing a set that's all just one artist and that way you can save yourself from having to type that in. Copyright is you know, this down here, I've got 
2016 Bender Waffles Presents. Yada, yada, yada. That'll just put that in automatically on each card, whatever's in there. Same with set code, set language. You get this nice, lovely symbol editor, which we will go over in the future. You can choose your border color. Set your automatic reminder text. So when you're looking at a card that has something like, okay, like scry, everything here, that's reminder text. So you can set what specific keywords that'll pop up and we'll go over keywords in this program in a second. Sort number, special rarity, all that jazz. Pretty basic stuff. Keywords here, as I said, we'll go over custom keyword creation, but this gives you a list of every keyword that's ever been used in magic. And as I said, you can create your own by simply right clicking and add keyword. Uh, which we'll go over later. Statistics, this is super useful with this program. It'll allow you to break down sort of, you know, your card color, your converted mana cost, color mana cost, super type, type, sub races, all of the information that you need to know, that you might need to know, um, just so you can sort of break down, find your curves, find where you're lacking, be like, oh, you know, I've got... Uh, you know, I've got a lot of cards that cost three. I should have some more that cost two or four or whatever have you. You'll you'll sort of figure it out as we go, and we'll we'll talk about um, sort of a breakdown in uh, all of this stuff. Random here. This allows you to generate a booster pack, so you can generate a booster pack and see. Okay, out of my set, these are what uh, my 15 cards would be. Oh, my rare is Faldron, Cursed King. Sweet. Um, I've got you know. Some, some good cards in here. This will be a little wonky until you have an entire set designed because you'll get kind of like a crap ton of red or a crap ton of blue or, you know, what have you. In this case, I only got one green card in the whole thing because this is a 65 card set. And you'll notice this time, as you get bigger and bigger sets, this will get more mixed up. The smaller the set, the less mixed up this will be. And then console, we aren't really going to use this. So that's just basics of... Uh, a basic rundown and overview of these programs. Now I have already gone ahead and designed a 65 card set as an example for you all so that you can see roughly what the finished product will look like. Note that I have not play tested this example set at all, as I don't really have the time right now to do so. So some cards will be stupidly overpowered, while others will be unplayably weak. It's just an example though, so take a look and let me know what you think. In the next video, we will be covering the pre-production processes, mainly choosing a theme and running the numbers. You can click on this button here to go to that video. If it isn't up yet, though, that button will instead take you to my channel where you can subscribe. If you like this video, give it a like, leave a comment down below, or consider supporting me directly via Patreon. Link for that is in the description down below. Don't forget to subscribe, guys, and I will see you next time. Have a good one.